A busy shopping centre, broad daylight, but a crime is being committed. The thief even asks bystanders to help. Actually, you can hold those, could you? What? You can hold those, could you? Uh, no. Later, he's back again, this time dressed more conspicuously. The thief is actually a police community support officer. His mission? To find out how many people would call 999. No one did. It was it's fairly surprising, really. Um, we had a, a rubbish lock, so that did help. Um, a properly secured bike would have been much more difficult. Um, with the poor lock, broad daylight, yeah, I was able to get it away pretty easily. This is a city which loves to cycle, but every year hundreds of bikes are stolen. Now that may seem low level, but the police here say those thieves are often involved in other more serious crime too. I had my bike actually stolen from here, right here before, and I like, I came out of Tesco's and I realised that they were running, that they had it, so I ran after them, chased them down there. Um, so yeah, I'll probably try and stop them if I saw them, because it's annoying. Did you get your bike back? No, I didn't. I'm really shocked. I wouldn't have thought anyone would just stand about and watch a crime being committed. I mean, you'd have thought someone would at least go and ask them at least what they're doing. We would hope that any person who sees a crime happening in progress that they would call the police on 999. It's most important that we get information as quickly as possible about any crime that's happening in progress because that gives us the best chance to apprehend an offender, to catch them in the act or to follow it up afterwards. Operation Bike Theft was repeated several times. Rubbish, rubbish, rubbish. No one rubbish. contacted the police. Perfect. No one tried to stop him. This thief, quite simply, got away with it. I'm now going to take you through the installation process for the new DataTag cycle security system. Each system contains four etched stencils, a bottle of ultraviolet etching fluid and applicator brush. One alcohol surface preparation wipe. A bottle of 1000 microdots in an ultraviolet adhesive fluid. A tamper evident warning label with unique number and a QR code. Start by selecting the areas of your frame you wish to etch. Discrete areas like the inside of the fork leg, the underside of the down tube and the inside of the rear triangle. Using the supplied alcohol surface preparation wipe, carefully clean all the areas that you've selected to etch. Take one of the stencils and carefully remove the backing paper. Then place the stencil onto the area of the frame that you've already cleaned, carefully smoothing out any air bubbles and ensuring a nice smooth fit. Take the etching fluid and supplied applicator brush. Dip the brush into the fluid and then paint on the stencil, focusing on the perforations. Take care to only use one coat of fluid to avoid any overspill running onto unprotected paintwork. Leave the stencil for at least 30 seconds before carefully and slowly peeling the stencil away from the frame. Once the stencil is removed, you will notice a white residue is left behind. This can be removed with any household polish or bike cleaning product. The ultraviolet etch can now be checked using a UV torch. You can now start to mark your components and accessories using the microdots. Please shake the bottle well to make sure the microdots are well mixed with the ultraviolet adhesive. 
Microdots can be used to mark discrete areas of components such as rear derailleur mechanisms, front and rear hubs and wheels, discrete areas of front and rear brake calipers, stems and bars, and brake levers and shifters. As with the UV etch, you can check the UV and the glue of the microdots using an ultraviolet torch. Microdots can also be used to mark expensive accessories like lights, GPS systems and cycling computers. Finally, you need to install your tamper evident warning label with unique identity number and QR code. Fix the tamper evident label to the down tube of the bike. Clean the area with the supplied alcohol wipe. Take the label and peeling the top edge away, apply the label to the frame and hold in place with your finger. Then peel away the remainder of the backing paper, smoothing the label into place with your finger. Remember, once the label is applied, it cannot be removed. Complete the installation by registering your bike online using the enclosed instructions. Then your cycle will be protected.